<laughs> that was a funny time to get a call and cut off the video, but I'm gonna use a boom. You're hitting people in the face with either sadness or anger. Either Pharaoh or victimization. Slavery, enslavement, the slave. All right, it goes like this. All right, well, what we need is faith, hope, and love. How do we do that? Well, one plus two equals three. God came down. Well, God created everything. He sent Jesus. Jesus said, love your brother. And now three plus the Holy Spirit fire, which we can accept and we can say, hey, yes, power me, Lord. Power me, power me, power me. But if we only have one of us saying, power me, then we, we're, our crown is off. We knocked our crown off. So leaders out here, you have to make sure your staff, which is your microphone, and then your staff, which is the people that work for you, are carrying out what you're talking about. And it's not a matter of are the people good or bad, because right now you have the people not coming to church that don't like the people that are on your staff. Okay? I like all of them. I love them all. I get it though. I get it. Can't blame the sheep. When the sh when the shepherds got the staff. And so what do what do churches all over America and all over the world who are underneath these principalities? I'm not blaming any of the preachers. I'm not blaming any of the government leaders. What do we do in America when our system's set up in this exact same way? Ooh, we put Vinci in office and we bring in systematic change in the principalities and the things that reign over us that the Bible tells us about and that our Constitution is supposed to free us of. But our Constitution only freed us from from the separation from England and other countries and all the countries coming together, we're like, oh my God, we gotta figure this out and protect ourselves. So our freedom, Independence Day, which we celebrate on July 4th, we need an individual Independence Day from, from systems and principalities that keep us in racism, poverty, places that people would rather have socialism than capitalism, because we're doing it wrong, uh, places where Christians hate Muslims when Jesus told us to love everybody, but Muslims hate Christians because they don't know Jesus. Um, so there's there's so many different things, but finance, so we put in my eek system, earn your keep, where we take taxation at every place you go for stacks nation, because we're not missing work ethic. Although every motivational speaker all over the place and every other YouTube commercial is like, you gotta work hard, you gotta do this, come on guy. Has beaten the dead horse gotten us any further? You can only maximize a bag of marbles as far as this marble bag will let it go. Now, see, look, lost the marble already. Shaking the marbles around. Oh my God, now that they've spent $10,000 at your conferences and they left the same Billy bag of marbles they came with and they shook a few out because they just lost their rent for the next two months. And I'm not against you guys, make that money. You're some of my heroes and I'll be there with you on the stage with you soon, but I gotta point it out because that's how evolution works and you know it. So, what do we need? How do we increase that bag of marbles? Bloop, bloop, bloop. We put lit caps on them. And next thing you know, Next thing you know, you put lit caps on them. And next thing you know, you put some good people in your ears. I love you, son. Be good. You funny. I love you. Be, I got your back. Just know I got your back. No, I won't be your friend. No. <laughs> That's okay. You put good people in your ears. You put lit technologies on them. You put the right young, brilliant leaders who are on these same systems that will, will change everything that we're hoping for. You get on the right leadership path where you have a staff that leads people in faith, hope, and love, not in slavery or victimization. So you need good people in your ears. You need the right people in your eyes. You need the right things coming out on the radio, TVs, all of that. You need to read books, not just the Bible, but good books like Acres of Diamonds. Um, but get into the Bible. You need to sing, dance, laugh, all the things God created us to do. Because when you do that, you'll realize how foolish it is to do anything else. And this is part 77, living in heaven. And that means I'm going to go do what I want. Lit gear. Good people in your ears. The right leaders that through the power of goodness have no fear. I can't wait to get going. Show me my opponent. You know who my opponent is? The people farting on the party. What party is that? 
the party of heaven on earth that Jesus said that our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us for our trespasses. We forgive those who trespass against us. At least not temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Who else? What else do y'all need? How are we going to do 77 living in heaven? We got to improve the minds because weak minds are bipolar states. We got to empower faith, hope, and love. Body, brains, and beyond. You need them all. You also got to change the system out of it. You got to put, eventually, in my opinion, although I'm, you know, I might get paid a lot to preach one day. <laughs> but if you want churches, I think churches, I'll be an evangelist, all right? So <laughs> if you want churches to take care of the people, to make them on the ones and twos, put the staff and the pastors on commission. And then people show up because that's what good leaders do. Right now, anyways, so what do you do for your government? You put your, you put your government staffs on salary plus commission, local, state, national. So that way, if your, if your hood, if your place, if your trust account are going up, that means they're getting paid more. So who you gonna be working for? Independence Day, three, four, two, one. March 4th, 2021, it'll be implemented. The new independence from financial slavery of systems from the past, from hierarchy kings and queens and enslavement systems that collided to make America the most powerful country in the world. We need a lighthouse and the White House, and I as him. And I've come to win. Chet Vichy loves you. Have a great day.